quality of healing has always been with us humans. Serving as a watchful guardian. A temporary assistant, a companion in times of need. This is a story from a small village in Siberia, Russia. An elderly woman, living alone, resided there. Having lost her family and relatives. She managed to sustain herself by cultivating a small garden in her modest little house on the outskirts of the village. In villages nestled within the depths of Russia, there's a tradition of offering tea and treats day and night. Without distinction, weary men knocked on the door of this elderly woman's house. They came bearing a small gift of protection and left behind three young wolf cubs, left motherless. Of the three wolf cubs, two were healthy and lively while the weakest one was left at the elderly woman's doorstep. The elderly woman, observing the wolf cub on her doorstep, believed it to be a lost or abandoned puppy, as no owner seemed to be around. Lacking an apparent owner, she started taking care of the cub, mistaking it for a dog. The wolf cub grew fond of the elderly woman, and obediently followed her instructions. It spent the warm summers outside and was brought indoors during the cold winters. Following this, the elderly woman named the pet Borzii, meaning wolf in Russian. Due to its wolf-like appearance and only producing howls and growls instead of barks. One night, someone knocked on the door of the elderly woman's house. She always welcomed travelers and offered them hospitality. A simple and kind-hearted woman. She couldn't have fathomed that these eastern outlaws were criminals. They thought they could take over her house and hide for a while, knowing that they wouldn't be witnessed. However, an unexpected turn of events awaited them. Waiting for them in the warm room was Borzii. Seeing the suspicious and sinister-looking men from Anse, Borzii now bore the countenance of a respectable predator. With sharp fangs bared, as he stood to protect the elderly woman with his body. As one of the men drew a knife and lunged at Borzii, the wolf swiftly evaded the attack, just barely grazed by the blade. Startled, the criminals hastily fled from the elderly woman's house. As they hurried away, Borzii let out a long, deep howl that echoed down the wide and thickly wooded path they took. In response to Borzii's call, the village's dogs all around began to bark. Hearing the commotion, the imprisoned men of the village quickly grabbed their guns and rushed outside. Encircled by the determined men of the village, the emaciated and weakened inmates from the eastern lifestyle were now trapped. With nowhere to go in the Nasu province. And then, as always, Borzii became even more vigilant than before. He became watchful of unfamiliar faces and exhibited a newfound wariness, protecting his cherished owner with heightened caution. The bear cub was in trouble, but it was amazing what the horse did. In Russia there was a mother bear and her cubs trying to swim across a icy lake. A horse is grazing with his spouse or friend and they stand together when they want to rest. One reason is that by standing together with their noses, Toward the other horse's tail. Their mates can keep flies away from their heads. Which would be very troublesome. If the flies were to lay their eggs on the face or front legs. The fly will usually rub its mouth with the inside of its knee. Then fly up and aim at the horse's head. Every time these offended insects pass their mates to lay eggs. The horses jump. A horse can rest its head on the other's rump or rub its mate's rump against the bitten jaw. Another reason why horses stand so close to their mates is that one horse stands nose to tail and can observe the other horse's tail, which means that each horse can have a 360-degree viewing area. If anything that tries to get close to this pair of horses, they can be prepared, because one horse's reaction immediately sends the message to the other. It's a survival tactic, and the pair bond by caressing and scratching each other's necks, which is obviously very enjoyable for them. If you scratch this area of your own horse, 
you will notice that its nose twitches on top of its lips. All horses are pretty much trying to find a mate to scratch each other. And the mate bond is so strong that if one of the pair is taken away, the other will become very disturbed. Mares, especially stud farm Mares have demonstrated this many times. A horse is very picky about its mate. Even with alternate mates, the new pair may never bond. When there are three horses, one horse will always have to stand a small distance away. Because pair bonding occurs only between two horses. The life principles of horses can remind you of the growth of people. They have the principles of adventure. Self-discipline, integrity, correct values, and empathy. They also have the ability to reflect on problems. Super insight, focus, and compassion. These complete things are even beyond my ability. But just like in life, there is no escaping misfortune. Depression, anxiety, loss, disappointment, or pain. In fact, some would argue that comparing yourself to a strong, but weak animal in the struggle of life is a foolish decision. Of course, this point of view is hard for someone who doesn't love horses or other animals to understand. Overall, I think the key point here is that the benefits are worth the risk. There is no stronger bond than the love between a mother and her child. However in this story this mother bear and her cub will amaze you. That love knows no boundaries and when the cub is desperate, and in need of help the mother will do everything. She can to sacrifice herself for the child she loves. Animals hurt other animals not because they enjoy hurting other animals, but because they need food for their own and their offspring's survival. Nature has prepared for each living thing what they need to survive. The same applies to humans. That is, if we maintain a balance with nature. Then the rest of nature will also exist in harmony. To us it seems like other creatures are maliciously eating each other. But we need to understand that no predator consumes more animals, plants or even substances than necessary. They all get according to their needs. Only we humans want to enjoy from getting more for ourselves than we need. Nature is amazing because a loving God created it. And God calls nature the creator. God loves his creation, including humans. And he obviously loves plants and animals of all kinds. As numerous as the stars in the universe. Out of a trillion trees, no two are alike. Despite her optimism, the mother bear soon has to face the harsh reality that crossing the lake is difficult. Because she is naturally stronger and a better swimmer than her two cubs. What she does next goes against our basic beliefs about parental instincts. This is a heartbreaking story where we are told that love has no boundaries and that it can take many forms. In fact, there is no stronger bond than the love between mother and baby. When it comes to the love between mother and child, sometimes we are surprised by the behavior of those who think of themselves. And sometimes we are surprised by the behavior of those who think of others. In this case, true love knows no boundaries. People traveling through the forest are often warned about bears, which are huge and possess incredible strength. Especially when a mother bear is protecting her young. One person decided to take the risk. And this is what happened in the largest freshwater lake in the Republic of Karelia. When the temperature of the lake can be as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius. Which, combined with its vastness, makes it difficult for animals to swim through it. And humans can simply avoid the lake in winter. Animals don't really have a choice. No matter how powerful an animal is. Sometimes they have to come out and find food. A mother bear and her two cubs were starving, so she decided to take a gamble and cross a lake. The mother bear started to cross the lake. But she made a small mistake. She knows how to swim, but her cubs don't. Cubs usually learn to swim through practice. But these cubs are too young to swim and have no ability to swim across this dangerous lake. The mother bear just kept swimming, while her cubs were stuck in the middle of the lake. 
even though her cubs were struggling. The mother didn't go back to help them. She just kept swimming, which could be heartbreaking. Or she would survive, or the three of them would be frozen in the lake. While it seems as if she knows her pups will be fine. Not only is the lake incredibly cold, it's also notoriously dangerous. And even specialized boats can't float in the lake during a storm. After a lot of struggle, the mother managed to reach the shore. But the cubs got stuck in the middle of the lake. And their condition went from bad to worse. Bears are intelligent creatures. But even in this case it is clear to the mother. That there is nothing she can do. She cannot simply return to the lake. And her babies lose their strength very quickly. Luckily, they managed to find another way out of their predicament. And the cubs struggled with what seemed like a glimmer of survival. There was a boat in the middle of the lake. And the people on board saw the plight of the little bear. And in order to save the poor animal from suffering. They acted quickly to see what they could do. The people on the boat soon reached the place where the bear was drowning. And they were ready to help the cub, but they didn't have an exact plan. They couldn't jump into the water, otherwise they might freeze faster than the bear. Of course, they travel to catch fish not bears. And if the boat breaks, they're all in trouble. So they start trying different methods to see if there's another way. Another problem, of course is that nearby mother bears might come over to protect their cubs. And she might attack or capsize the boat. In addition, the cubs may also launch violent attacks. However, they don't have time to worry about this. Or the cubs could die before they have a concrete plan. It was all filmed by a man with a horse. Who wanted to share the encounter with the world. At this point, a cub walked towards the boat. And the fishermen, working with the horses, tried to get it aboard. But this bear is too far away. Another fisherman started pulling out gear from the boat. And trying to help it with it. Apparently, the two cubs knew that these people were trying to save them. So they started trying to grab the boat. And the fear that the other might be a threat to them was gone. And people started trying to help the cubs more seriously. Unfortunately, it's still not an easy task. And simply helping the cubs with their hands turned out to be of little help. So people got to work with their tools. They helped the cubs with their fishing nets which proved useful. The nets were able to support the weight of the cubs. And after they got the first cub in the boat. They tried to calm it down quickly. Another cub was heavier than the first. But was soon on board as well. The little bear was frozen and trembling. But the worst has been dealt with. And now they need to be put back to their mother. Since bears are not good pets. The farmer decided to return the cubs to their mother. But they didn't know which island they had to go back to in Lake Visurgo. And even after searching every island. They found nothing you know, the female bear disappeared. Eventually the people and the horses decided to place the cub in a place where the mother bear was most likely to be. At this point, the pup and human have formed a bond. Although their interaction may be brief, the cubs are still weak but the farmer has no choice but to leave them on one of the islands and start leaving. Yet people still feel like they did the right thing. Saying goodbye to the cubs is not easy. Maybe it's as easy as rescuing them in the first place. They were brave sailors who did the right thing. But it's important to remember that while bears can be violent, they usually stay away from people. So when these bears come to them for help, it's a sign of how dangerous they are. It's probably a good thing for them that the farmer doesn't actually see them reunited with their mother. And the cubs do end up reunited with their mother and quickly grow into mighty beasts. The bear is a noble beast, the horse and the people are great. They saved the cubs when they were in danger.